welcome students last session we have discussed types of agriculture now in this video we will discuss the cropping pattern very easy topic which we have already discussed in your in our previous classes so cropping pattern in india as we know india is a very varied land with vast diversity uh, not along with physical diversities and cultures india also maintains a diversity in agriculture in the way of different cropping patterns clear so various types of food and fiber crops vegetables fruits spices condiments etc constitute some of the crops grown in the country here condiments in the sense special spices which are been added in the food to to enhance the flavor of the food okay like uh, zira powder dhania powder at the end adding special uh, items at the garam masala at the end so that the flavor of the curry enhances okay so the india major cropping seasons of india are rabi kharif and zaid today we will discuss the topic like cropping pattern india has three cropping seasons they are rabi kharif and jain zaid already i have given uh, notes but uh, to you you can sit with the notes and you can deal with this otherwise if suppose if you have not written the notes this uh, this uh, special rabi kharif zaid can be made in a tabular form which you need to make and you have to show me, show it to me you can make three subheadings like uh, season then crops grown and the areas it is grown Ma majorly they, these are the areas now we are, we are going to cover suppose if we see rabi crops rabi crops are sown in winter month okay are sown in winter from october to december and harvested in summer from april to june some of the important rabi crops are wheat barley peas gram mustard okay these crops are grown in major parts of india but the basic things i'll show you this one through so these crops rabi crops are grown in western parts majorly in north and north western parts such as punjab haryana himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir uttaranchal then uttar pradesh these are the areas where rabi crops are grown in major the main reason for the success of these crops even in the winter season when there is no rainfall uh, even success in this regions is western cyclonic disturbances again you need to recollect your class 9th lesson climate lesson where we have discussed about western cyclonic disturbances jet, jet streams can you recollect jet streams coming from mediterranean sea and they will move towards they cross india jet streams west side of india they will they will cross through india bringing rainfall to india we will call it as western cyclonic disturbances study it so in the winter winter season due to this western cyclonic disturbances north and northwest part of india receives rainfall allowing the uh, good cropping season in winter and uh, these are the major areas where rabi crops are grown along with this western cyclonic disturbances the success of green revolution also because the green revolution first it's been implemented in two places punjab haryana after it's been it has become successful it's been spread to other parts of india also western uttar pradesh and parts of rajasthan the even success of green revolution is also one of the reason for the growth of rabi crops in these areas now let's have a look at the kharif crops kharif crops are grown in the monsoon season with the onset of monsoon in different parts of the country and they are harvested in september and october month and important crops kharif season crops are paddy maize jowar bajra tur tur tuwar dal we say then moong urad then cotton jute groundnut soya bean these are the important kharif crops and the regions where these kharif crops are grown we'll watch it through map Important regions of kharif crops are Assam okay Assam West Bengal then the coastal regions of uh, Orissa and then comes uh, Andhra Pradesh then Tamil Nadu okay then Kerala and Maharashtra particularly Konkan coast 
okay this area is referred to as konkan coast can you remember coastal region yes we, uh, western coastal plain eastern coastal plain all these you have studied in your class 9th so this is uh, a western coastal plain so konkan coast kannada coast and malabar coast so konkan coast these are the areas where kharif crops are grown in major along with punjab and haryana also due to development in technology now in punjab and haryana also these crops uh, rice can be grown kharif crop can be grown in these areas along with that in the states of uh, assam uh, okay west bengal and orissa so in these three states especially paddy is grown thrice a year paddy is in our normal terminology we call it as rice paddy is grown thrice in a year and we call it as aus aman and boro i'll show you in the textbook so have a look here in the states of assam west bengal and odisha these crops uh, are known paddy three crops of paddy are grown in a year and they are aus aman and boro names of the paddy crops so now comes the third cropping pattern that is zaid season and this zaid season is in between rabi and the kharif seasons the main crops produced during zaid season are watermelon musk melon cucumber vegetables and fodder crops here fodder in the sense of the food for cattle okay the food for cattle the crops which are grown as food for cattle are referred as fodder crops these crops are grown during the jade jade season whereas sugarcane takes almost a year to grow it includes all the three seasons rabi kharif and jayanti because harvesting time is one year for sugarcane hope you have understood today's topic we have covered three cropping patterns rabi kharif and jayanti thank you next video we will cover the major crops of india major crops their climatic conditions in which areas these crops are grown we'll discuss in detail in the next video